Hey guys, PQ here and today I want to show you how I play Meepo. So let's get into it. I'm playing against hard bots because, um, yeah, just want to show you the first few minutes, like minute 20, um, how I play Meepo and so we go on. I'm starting off here, um, um, I have to say this is a live commentary, so uh, yeah, it's a live commentary. Well, I'm starting off with the Ring of Protection and a few Iron Branches and yeah, if the if it's needed, I buy a Courier, but now it's not because the bots always buy, so well, let's get into it. So, I play Meepo. I'm not skilling the Earthbind yet, I'm just skilling Poof. Uh, killing. <laughs> uh, skilling Poof because, uh, yeah. I think it's bad. It's the better choice, and the first item I will go for is Tranquil Boots. Well, always buy the Ring of Protection because you can't get it at the side shop, and yes, yeah, a hybrid build for Meepo. Um, half time on, uh, not half time, like a, th uh, a fourth piece of the time I'm on lane. Uh, yeah, the jungle lane, the safe lane, and after that I'm going to jungle. It's not the effect, the most effective way, but it's a safe way to get farm uh, in pub games and bot games. Um, especially in pub games, because if you play Meepo like me and there's no Lich in the other team, um, yeah, you can stomp. So I try to block here a bit because I don't want to fight there. <coughs> um, if you got a hard carry on lane and it's safe lane, you mostly got hard carries on lane. Um, try not to steal them the last hits because you can come up with a farm pretty easy and pretty fast. So just a few last hits and a few denies. <coughs> yeah, so I got my I got Dragon Knight here. Um, yes. Uh, after that, skill Earth Earthbind, so you can root the enemy properly. And yeah, always make some gank a attempts because. Yeah, you do massive damage with Poof, even with with my one Meepo. So the the most important thing I, I always try to do is stay in XP range. You need level so heavily. Just don't go for for the side shop until you are in XP range to buy. Just stay here and <coughs> soak up the whole XP you get. Yeah. Pretty easy on lane with uh, with sniper and of course against bots, because <laughs> bots aren't that good. But uh, for the for the play wise, I, I can tell you that uh, pub games are. You can play pub games with this, like this. Uh, if you are aren't have a jungler, if you if you are. Uh, if you got your jungle alone, you can. So I got my sec second Meepo now. Now I can, yeah, flash farm if there is a support on lane. I can flash farm and push the tower, but sniper needs farm, so I will let him the farm. <coughs> yeah, that's the first of three videos I want to make because I want to show how easy you can play Meepo even if you never played him before so that's uh, the first video of uh, example against bots the second video will be an in-depth guide um, and the third one will be a let's play with maybe a friend maybe alone in a pub game so I can show you yeah how Meepo works how Meepo can s stump Stomp a pub game. Yeah. 
So I got level three now. I will wait and I will wait until level four. Then I go jungle. Yeah, that's that's the plan. Yeah. So I got level four, poof level two, earthbind and my ulti, and now I can go farming in the jungle. Um, let the pool can free because in pub games it's always pretty good to let it free. And yeah, flash farm it. <coughs> I will explain uh, in the second video how to flash farm, how to use, even use the abilities of Meepo. Yeah, here I got my mistake and I have to buy it. Side job. I will explain you how to play Meepo. Um, not as effective as pro players, but how to play a pub stomping Meepo. And that's all I want to give you. Just a pub stomping Meepo. Well, just... Yeah, no, I'm running always with my whole Meepo horde behind me, but yeah. <coughs> That's how I played and I got f now six or seven games with him and like one lose because there was a lich and after then I, I got always like 10 kills. It's pretty easy to get kills. So first max out poof because um, poof is your main damage output. Yeah, always look out for ganks uh, in in bot games. There aren't ganks or very low priority ganks, but in public games uh, you have to look out a bit. But you can bur easily like. When you get your Aghanims, you can easily burst everyone down who wa who tries to gank you. So, feel free to go back if you got no mana for Poof. And that's exactly the case here. So, yeah. Go get back, get your mana, get your health, regen regenerate it and go in the jungle again. And, yeah. I can say you... If you got level 11 or your Aghanims or both, of course, you can farm so well that it doesn't even care if you a uh, bit lame in the first early game because you can gank and can kill in early game with poof alone. So you don't are that item dependent. Here I think I will <coughs> help the sniper a bit. <coughs> Or not. So this is th this is of course a hybrid jungle build. If needed, go for ganks. Or if you see an opportunity to can if you can kill someone, that's pretty awesome. I'm a meepo who always runs with all meepos together. I'm not a blink poof meepo pro player. I just play it like everyone can play it, and it is pretty much the most fun you can get in Dota 2, playing a good Meepo. So I'm happily farming here, because no contest from bots. Yeah, you will see it in the third video when I play in a pub game. So... Oh, always go, uh, as long as you got mana for poof, you can jungle. Yep. So that was my, that's my last poof. So let's go. And always look that the healthiest Meepo stays from the front lines. So I, and always look that you got on every Meepo poof ready. So you can farm proper. I will go back now. Farm a bit. So you s you see, I got 31 last hits and 1,300 gold. It's pretty fast. It goes pretty fast. So w you will see that I'm rushing in levels if I got my third or f 
even fourth Meepo. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit boring I have to say at the beginning play Meepo, but yeah. If you're going to gank, not even boring. Mm. I will get my uh, the, the courier to the secret shop where I can get my point boost. A point boost is the first item you should get from Agonims. So the item build is um, branches and ring of protection. After that you turn the ring of protection into tranquil boots. After that you going to run uh, Russia again uh, scepter so you get uh, one other meepo and better stats on every meepo so yeah again meepo is one of the only um heroes where agonims is a must have we really a must have he's not even worth without agonims the C Max Poof does a lot of damage even with only two Meepos here. So jungling along, yeah. <laughs> Mud golems are breaking your your farm a bit, but yeah. If there's time go for a stack. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty like always. <laughs> Getting that meeple behind. So <coughs> I'm likely to took. Uh, it depends on the situation. Now I will take more points in the Earthbind because I I think the range is pretty awesome to have. So I'm pretty low. I will go back now. So for the agonims, I can tell you, um, you can sell an iron branch for each heart you get. That that outweighs the the stats, of course. The first by the ogre club, so you get more strength on every meepo. And yeah. After we get Aghanims and level 11, we're just out farming and out leveling everyone. Everyone. Can tell you one. Ah, even Tinker. Tinker can out farm Meepo. <coughs> but only if it's good Tinker. I'm a bad Meepo and I can out farm everyone. Got about 900 EP per minute. And yeah. That's not even much if you play Meepo correctly. Yeah. You can get much more out of it. So I don't care for the rune, I don't care for for the lanes until uh, gank is needed. Like your hard carry is saying, come on, let's kill them. It's just an easy thing. So your shovel is slowing and your earthbind is rooting. I get two points in Earthbind and will now get my shovel to max level. Right. <coughs> <coughs> so, yeah, that's Meepo. So, the first time is pretty. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's too dangerous. I'm too low for it. I will. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Go away. Fearful dragon knight. Ah, uh, dragon knight. I doesn't do quite low damage, so I will try to kill him. Hope I can. Uh, no normal person would have just, um, yeah, 
normal person would have just killed me, but bots not. If you are in public games, don't do that. <laughs> so I got one more piece of Arganims now. Yeah, you only can do it against bots. <laughs> so guys, I will show you now. Pretty close to Agonims. So only 550 gold away. That's pretty good. For 40 minutes. 14 minutes. I I nearly got my Agonims. That's normal timing. Uh, in a pub game, I did it like in 12 minutes because I got a few kills there. But if you got just one or no kill, yeah, I will, won't get more. So now I've got level 10 and got my... What the fuck, man? God damn it. <laughs> so... If you got your third Meepo... You're happily free farming now. You're happily free farming enemies. <laughs> That's the cool thing. If you got one, he's dead. And I even got my egg on him, so... <laughs> <laughs> now it gets really exciting to play Meepo and really satisfying too. Because now my egg on him is on the way and... Yeah. That's the reason how to claim the career because I'm pretty full HP. So, so I nearly one hit at this creep camp with three, and now I got a fourth one. That's so great. That's so great. And with four one, you you can decide either you go farming in the jungle or you just push the lane. I'm going for flash farming this creeps now so, and pushing the tower because it's bo our bots in the tower are pretty low. Yeah, if if you are in a pub game just be careful and look at the positioning of the enemies so you don't get trapped or again don't get killed. But yeah. That's the farming phase I think pretty much the whole one. <laughs> Oh, she's dead. Brum. <laughs> yeah, that, that's how you own with Meepo. That's <coughs> one of the highest nu nuke you can get. That's more than a finger of death from Lion. If you have full Meepos. That's massive damage. <laughs> so I have my team now. Uh, if you got four Meepos, you can help your team so good. Or just rooting everything and kill everything. Okay, that that was not the best thing I can do, but I, I had to root. But eh, oh, never mind. Yeah, so you see, I'm I'm not good at Meepo, but I can own with him, even as. Of course I can own bots, but I can own in pub games like you see um, in the next video. And next next video, I got the third video uh, online. And now I think so, bam bam bam, farming away like you're brutal. I already got my me mechanism, mechanism is the next item you should get for. And after that, farm your flats. Vladimir's offering is so a good item on Meepo. Even, <coughs> even if if they are pretty heavy to kill the enemies, it's exactly what you want to buy. But and yeah, mechanism is exactly one of the best items in the game for Meepo because you got extremely good aura from it you get really 
nice stats from it and you get your heal. And that heal is good for your uh, for teammates and for you of course. Because you can roam around like roam 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 roam. Yeah, it's a pre pretty unfair game here, my bots are rocking the house. <laughs> <coughs> but okay. Well, I got three kills. I'm feeling confident now to push the tower, because pff, what should happen? <laughs> Ridiculous good bots. My first actual good bot team I got in the whole Dota game. So, well, you can see it in the pub game I'm uploading, that it can get other way around that. But, yeah. So you see how you can flash farm with me, but it's so great. I like it so much. <coughs> yeah, pushing the tower. And that's the tower. And that's Wind Ranger, actually. Beautiful. Ah, oh, don't stop me. Don't stop me. I don't want to get that. Thanks. So... Push the thing further now. So, if you ask yourself how I, how I proof all Meepos together, I will explain that in the next video. So... That's the reason. Well, there's a dragon knight coming my way. <coughs> Tide hunter, kill stealer, report him. Well, it's so easy game now. What the fuck, I don't even have to, had to do something. Getting my flats at the enemy's base is not, <laughs> not set in stone. Always. You play Meepo. What the hell? My that bot team is rocking. Oh my god. So I, I got now have flats and mechanism. I can rush now. <coughs> Rushing is one of the best things on Meepo. Get the strongest Meepo first so he tanks up. Rush don't get poof damage so yeah. Have that in mind. Uh, get back. So I, I actually can do it alone, but eh, my, never mind. My team is helping me. Go away and attack them, motherfuckers. Eh. Care. Dum 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 dum. Your bottom tower is under attack. So after that, I would just buy me a heart or a. <laughs> so I got my last Meepo lol. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's how I play Meepo without Blink Dagger, without getting every Meepo at uh, another place. And yeah, you will see now my farm and my level should be over pretty everyone. <coughs> yeah, you can see it. I'm level 17. 
got 700 EP per minute. Uh, that's pretty low in pub games if they took like 40 minutes. They always get so about 900, 950 per minute. I got 105 lasts and four uh, 549 gold per minute. That's brutal. That's totally brutal. Yeah, that, that's it. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, leave a comment and hit like if you liked it. And yeah, till my tutorial now.